How's it going ladies and bruce is Bobby 6 killer welcome to Shenmue 3. We are going to be doing a full series on this of course. We recently finished Shenmue 1 and 2 on the channel. Recently-ish. In this year, you know, when they did the re-releases. I've been really excited to get into this, we just haven't had the time. I know we're a little bit late to the party, but we are jumping in and we are going to crush it. I am very excited. Let's get into it. Um, normal. Always normal. Always normal. I cannot wait to- I've been waiting 17 years to find out what happens next. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Dear Shenhua, my work is done. The phoenix entrusted to our people is now complete. The time of destiny has come. Go with the one who holds the phoenix, Shenhua, and find the proof. Yield yourself to the light and go together. I shall give you the family treasure, the Sword of Seven Stars. Think of the sword as a part of me and keep it with you. I shall always watch over you. I'm so excited right now. What the? Right. This is from the end of Shimu 2 still. <laughs> and then it shows those giant ass mirrors, yeah there. What is this? That's them. We still gotta get the dragon Red mirror dragon back. And a phoenix. We gotta kick Landy's ass. Just like the mirrors. So this is what he was working on. From a distant land in the east. From across the sea, he shall appear. He does not know of the strength hidden within him. The strength that would destroy him. The strength that would fulfill his wishes. When he is ready, he shall seek me out. And we shall brave together the rocky path. I shall wait. This encounter has been my destiny since ancient times. A dragon shall emerge from the earth, and dark clouds shall obscure the heavens. A phoenix shall descend from above. Its wings will create a purple wind. In the midst of the pitch black night, a morning star shall glisten alone. What is that poem? It has been told in the village since long ago. The one who holds the phoenix. There's shivers running down my spine, man. I cannot actually believe I'm sitting here playing Shinmu 3. I thought this day would never come. I really did. I thought I would never ever see this happen. Man, it's been a rocky road to this game in a long ass time. That's Bailu Village. That's where we were heading. Is your dad's like stonecutter houses we on the outskirts some or something? about my father there. Let's go. Are we getting a companion sure. all the time now? Shinhua coming with us all the time. I guess Joy was almost a constant companion in Shenmue 2. Hey, Shenhua. 
We have to get to the village. Let's go. Do you have any idea where your father might have gone? No, I don't. Hmm. Has this ever happened before? With my father? Yeah. Has he ever disappeared without telling you? No, never. I see. Are you certain that letter from the cave was... It's his handwriting, without a doubt. Okay. Are you sure it didn't contain any clues? Uh... Chinois? I don't know. Honestly, I don't care about the letter. I just want to find my father. I understand. Yeah, you know exactly how she feels. This place is beautiful, man. Holy crap. This place is beautiful. Can I run? Ah, yeah, I can run. Come on, Xinhua. Race here. Don't make me tussle, you fellas. Because I don't know how. Because <laughs> you probably kicked the shit out of me. Xinhua, who's this? This is Liu. He saved me from drowning in the river. <clears throat> Did something happen? Don't miss around here. Tore through here two days ago. Oh no, really? Yeah, the kind we don't normally see around here. Let's keep moving. I can deal with your thug problem. Good at beating up thugs. It's basically what we do. It's basically our part-time job, at least. <laughs> hey, Shenhua. What's the matter? Does the village usually have gatekeepers? No. There's no need for them. Bailu is a very peaceful place. Are you sure about that? Because they said some thugs came by. Yes. But it sounds like they're not from around here. Still, that's worrying. Even for you? Yeah. I admit, I'm a little unsettled myself. The village feels different somehow. I can imagine. Let's ask around for some clues. Let's go. Alright, let's do it. That was a pretty old bridge. Indeed. That's the Verdant Bridge. That's what it's called. Yes. It's been in Bailu for a while. Is that the village? Up ahead? Yes. Everyone lives up ahead. We can ask around. Someone's bound to know something. Let's not waste another second. Yeah. See you later. Go to Bailu Villages Square. What is that button? Oh, okay. Ooh, run. It doesn't... Okay, okay. Alright, mm-hmm. That's cool. I got this. Don't you worry. Looks like Bob from Tekken. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out more about your father. Thanks. You investigate here, Leo. I'll try another settlement. Alright, we're gonna go chat to some peeps. I do love chatting to people. Hey! Hi there. Aha! Come to apprentice under me, have you? Oh, nothing. Fear not! For I am the great Suzas Young, 
I can forge a formidable master out of the most hopeless of pupils. You stand before a Chun Tai cheer master. Um, yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? Do I look like I'd know anything about that? Right. Come by any time if you've got any burning questions about the great Chun Tai Chu. Will do. If I find you a tailor that can fit you a proper shirt, I'll let you know. <laughs> I need help with something. What do you want? That's a bit rude, bitch. I'm looking for someone named Yuan. <laughs> no, I haven't. Not since I saw him go to that house over there. But that was a while ago. Okay, thanks. Guess we'll check out this house soon. Hello? Uh, Are we break I in? Nobody's home. There's holes in the door. We can't just break in. Is anyone there? Uh, looks like no one's home. All right, fine. We should wait till night time to break in, I suppose. Don't want to do it during the day. Too obvious. Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen Mr. Yuan? He occasionally came to visit Zhou next door, but Zhou is likely working right now. Maybe Zhou's daughter Lin knows where he is. I see. Zhou's daughter Lin, where's she? Over here? You put it this way. What is this? Why is it resonating? What are you doing? Why can't I pick it up? It's resonating at me. I should talk to more people around here. Yeah, I'm working on that, Mr. Mr. Rio. Maybe she's in here then. Hello? Is anyone there? Uh, it seems nobody's home. Again? Hello. There's something I want to ask. Oh God. Have you seen Mr. Yu? <laughs> Where did you come from, young man? What? There's always something interesting coming in from the Lijiang River. I wonder what's going to show up next. Okay. Oh my God. Why do they have capsule machines in this town? What? What? Capsule machines? Are you serious? <laughs> okay. We're gonna do some capsule machine playing later. Mmm, you know that's gonna happen. Just want to talk to us. That's pretty rude. Come on. We're nice guys, kind of. <laughs> Loading screen? I was, gonna, I was starting to think that loading screen was going to turn into a crash. I really was. I'm glad that it I didn't. I talk to more people around here. Okay, okay, jeez. I was going to go check out that place, but that's cool. That's cool. What's in here? Oh, this is the gambling thing. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I don't know. Really? I don't know anything. Why not? I see. 
What's wrong with you, kid? Why do you know nothing? It's the gambling thing. I'm not down for this right now. Sorry. Would you like a game of Lucky Hit? Have out a game of Lucky Hit. What are you doing? Excuse me. Hey there, lad. How about a game? Oh, crap. Do you have a moment? It costs 10 euron to play. You open your wallet, or I shut my mouth. <laughs> Does that mean that if I play, you'll, uh... You'll tell me something? Pale Toss? Wanna try Pale Toss? Okay. Hit me with the Pale Thanks. Toss. Aim carefully. Man, I'm gonna suck at this. <laughs> What are we aiming for? What do we want to win? How about a clock radio? <laughs> no, you wank! I need that clock radio! <laughs> Dude, I can't live without the clock radio! Yes! I mean... Hooray! <laughs> that was alright! Wanna go again? How much is that clock radio Maybe worth? Maybe some other time. I'll sell it back to you. Yep, see you around then! Oh, there's a person! And who might you be? <coughs> You're not a face I recognize. I've got a question. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? I'm sorry, dear, but could you save that for later? This is no place for idle chit chat. Who have I not talked to or anything? All these kids? There's a million billion kids over here. This is a nice town, man. Hey there. Yeah? That looks great. <laughs> yep, Shenhua tells me that too. You know Shenhua? She's my friend. Is she your friend too? <laughs> yeah, she is. Say, do you know Mr. Yin? He's a stonemason. A stonemason? Just like my daddy? Your dad is a stonemason as well? Yep. And where's he? Can I talk to him? Uh-huh. He comes home at seven at night. He does. Okay. Thanks. Mm-hmm. No problem. We just need to burn time then, I guess. Maybe they'll let us wait. Moves you to a target location in time. You can choose when to activate it. Okay, that's cool. So I just push the button and then I can skip there. Now let's talk to her first. I don't think I've talked to you. Do you have you. a moment? Huh? What is it? Oh my god. There's something I want you to got ask. drugs on you or something. What the hell? What do you want? I'm looking for Mr. Yuan. Leave me alone. Uh, okay. What the hell's her problem? God damn. Hey, guy up there. Can I talk to you? No. I need help with something. Have you seen Mr. Yuan? No idea! 
All I care about is martial arts. Okay. Nice. Well, that's what that's what our guys like. All right, let's play. Let's play a game of lucky hit. Excuse me. Oh, hello. How about a game of lucky hit? Oh my God, you're a sleazy looking bitch, aren't you? Um. Come on, come on, try it. Not right now. Oh, so you don't like lucky hit? No, no, I love lucky hit. Lucky hit. I'm Hello. one of the cool kids. Will I love lucky, lucky hit. hit. Yeah, man. And then yeah, we're man. gonna skip ahead. Pick a platform. Uh, Xbox. Wait, why did I pick Xbox? <laughs> First one that came to my head. <laughs> Damn, that one's expensive. This one's the best chance of winning. Maybe I picked Xbox because I originally played Shenmue 2 on Xbox. Who knows? Come on, let's lucky hit this shit. That's a very anti-gravity ball. They don't pay money, they pay bananas. Wow, I'm impressed. Will you keep going? No, I'm good. Maybe some other time. At one o'clock radio, I want a bunch of soon. bananas. I'm basically the man out here. Alright, let's go. <laughs> I like the way we can skip to each uh, chapter bit as we learn how to do it. That's awesome. Like, we can fight around in town, but we can just skip ahead. Pardon me. Who's there? May I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Oh, hi, mister. You know this man? He's my friend, daddy. Man, he looks like well, an angry man. It. I haven't seen Yuen around. If you know anything, I'd... Huh? What happened? Some thugs I'd never seen before showed up and wrecked my place. Thugs, huh? Why would they do this? It's me. They asked if I was a stonemason, so I said yes. And they just went crazy. Why stonemasons? They were definitely looking for something. What did they look like? Well, they weren't from around here, that's for sure. There were two of them. One had a shaved head with a tattoo on it. Don't tell me. They went to Yuen's place too? I don't know. Yuen was in the quarry when he disappeared. You're kidding. Those thugs might have something to do with that too. Maybe to go beat these thugs up. Maybe. We have a mission. I'll be sure to tell Shenhua. Bye. Man, yeah, kids love Rio. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Good plan. Let's go. Is it this way? I think it was this way. I better eat something before I fall over. Food. Oh, thank god I, I bought- I ate some bananas, I guess. I mean, I found some I'm gonna eat these bananas. Mmm, bananas. Alright, let's go. This is Xinhua's place, right? No, it can't be. Crap, can I look at the map? Oh, I can just skip! Dude, I don't even have to find my way anywhere. Well, that's perfect for me. Then I can't map at all. Do we have to eat? It's a survival game now. I didn't know that. Have you learned anything new, y'all? Not about your father, no. Sort of. I see. 
It seems that the thugs invaded Mr. Joe's home, though. Joe, you mean Ling's house? They must have my father, then. We shouldn't jump to conclusions. But we should kick some thug ass. I'm going with you tomorrow. What? I can't stop thinking about these thugs. I want to know more. All right, then. We'll go together. Good. Now what? Cur yeah, yeah, I remember that. Are we still at night time? Time for beady buzz. Lots of thug beating up to do tomorrow. Lots of bananas to eat. <laughs> A martial arts hero's work is never done. Ask the villagers more about the thugs. Alright, good plan. Where is Xinhua? Oh, there she is. Hey, Xinhua. Good morning, Liu. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Can we go now? It says I can talk to her for a second. Hey, um... What is it, Liu? It's time to make our way to the village. Okay. We can talk more on the way. Come on then. Oh, I didn't know her first name was Ling. Ling Shenhua. To the village! Away! Did she feed us then? We're healthy now. Rio. Let's go. Yeah. Can we explore more of the village now? I heard about turtle racing. I want to join in on that. I want a piece of that action. Oh shit, wait up! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> Your house is pretty far from the village, huh, Shenhua? Oh, yes, I suppose you're right. Is there a reason for that? The quarry could be one. Sorry? The quarry. It's a special one that even I'm not allowed to enter. Ah, so your house is there to protect it? Yes, I believe so. Father didn't tell me anything about it, though. I see. Do you know what the dragon and phoenix in the quarry were for? No, I don't. But your father carved them, right? Yes, he must have. He wasn't alone, though. What do you mean by that? They must have taken generations to complete. So, you think your grandfather worked on them too? Yes, possibly even further back than that. Have you heard any stories about them? Not a single one. Man, secret of family. My father always said he'd tell me when I got older. Then, how do you know it has so much history? Well... Everyone in the village has history. The villagers? Yes. Generations of stonemasons, hunters, and farmers have all lived here. The same goes for the cattle wranglers. They've been here for ages. Oh yeah? That's just how things work here. Yo, you're so far away from everything. Remember at the end of Shemu 2 how long we had to walk to get here? It's so far away from everything, it'd be pretty hard. I think many, you wouldn't think many people would come or go, realistically.
Get out. Who are you? Ooh. Martial arts man. Is this a dojo? That's right. This is Marshall Hall. It's been here for ages. Marshall Hall. Long ago, many great martial artists traveled here from all over the world. But no one comes here nowadays. Is that so? Rio, you should come here to practice when you have time. Good idea. Is that okay? Of course. Our doors are open to everyone that comes here looking to master the martial arts. Are you a new trainee? I'm sorry? Hmm, you're Japanese. I am. The people of Bailu Village have trained here for centuries. It has history. Did you say centuries? You would do well to train here if you have lost sight of the path. You can polish your techniques. So you'll let me train here? Not only that, I'll let you prove yourself by fighting the monks here. Oh, I've been. You're on. A fight? Very well. Your first opponent shall be Red Tiger. He is our least skilled monk, but do not underestimate him. What? Just hit the A, B, Y, X buttons. Try pressing the right trigger. Eat and fill up before fighting. Is that all you're made of? <laughs> Can I block? Stop that tickles. That won't work. Stop that tickles. That won't work. It seems like there's way less to it than there used to be. Don't make me laugh. It was pretty complicated back in uh, Shimu 1 and 2. What say you? Will you join us? Not so much now, it's just yes. mash buttons. Absolutely. Doesn't even look like he can block. Very well. What is your name? Ryo Hazuki. I shall have a name tag prepared for you. You will start from the lowest rank. Well, oh, you know I'm going to be staying here, working our way up. Yes. You must fight and defeat someone above your rank in order to move up. You must train day in and day out to improve your kung fu. Yes, master. Dude, I'm going to stay here and I'm going to train all day. But first, we need to wrap this episode up here because we're out of time for today. Although, what I do need to do is eat some goddamn food. Where do I get the food? I'm gonna eat a pear. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.